All right, so we're staying in a barrel cabin in the middle of Unicoi State Park. And so far, this is pretty cool. Perched on a hillside and nestled into the forest, barrel cabins are some of the most beloved in Helen, Georgia. They're remarkable as they're kind of a little bit quirky for their unusual design. Although they do offer one bedroom and two bedroom options and are located in Unicoi Lake with easy access to all the great recreation activities. State Park. If you're unfamiliar with Unicoi State Park, it's straight off of Helen and it's a beautiful location very close to Anna Ruby Falls. So if you've ever thought about coming to either of those locations, Unicoi State Park is very centralized and a beautiful place to enjoy some time outside in nature. Before we get started though, if you don't mind hitting like, it really helps us boost this video so that other people can see it and watch it as well. And then subscribe to our channel if you like our content. And we put out weekly videos each week. We're a family of five and we love to explore Georgia. So we really appreciate it. The barrel cabins were built back in the 70s are easily one of the most unique state park cabins we've ever stayed in. Uh, they offer a especially unique experience that you won't find anywhere else. So the barrel cabins, we've been hearing a lot about these barrel cabins ever since we started talking about coming to Unicoi State Park. And they're hard to book out, and they're hard to book out for a reason. They have all of the luxury and comfort items that you'd have at home. So if you are looking for a bed and a kitchen, the barrel cabins actually are a great option. And we were concerned that it would be kind of like a bare minimum uh, Airbnb, but it's not. It's got pretty much everything stocked, and it's beautiful setting and a beautiful area right in the heart of Unicoi. <gasps> Wait, mommy, look. There's a secret hideout here. Is there? Such yeah, a... look. There's something where you can put your suitcase. It's in. like a little cubby for books. Yeah. Do you like how the roof kind of goes as a barrel? Yeah. It's rounded. Yeah. And a, and a patio deck that overlooks, you know, the woods. And, and in our case, it's actually even the woods and the lake, which is really cool. It's got rocking chairs so that you can just chill and breathe in the fresh air. It's really just like you have a house almost or a condo or an apartment. So the two bedrooms upstairs are just like living spaces. I actually didn't know what to expect. There's uh, two beds for the girls to share. There's a big bed for Andrew and I, and Chloe can probably sleep in there as well. There's, so there's enough room for a family of five. Uh, there's a sleeper couch down below, but I don't think we're going to utilize that this visit. This is, for all intents and purposes, like an Airbnb in the middle of a state park. So this fully furnished has everything as far as a fully working kitchen, a fully working, you know, TV room, everything. So you can enjoy the comforts of like an Airbnb or your house essentially while you're in the middle of a state park. We um, had to book these out way in advance. These are booking out very fast and, you know, for good reason. Yeah. Way, way, go away. The rain's coming in, so the breeze is really nice. You can I hear the clouds in the distance and the. I the like thunder. It. I like the rain. I like the rain too. It's starting to get super cool. It's going to rain in just a little bit. And what's really cool about that is that we're in a barrel cabin with a tin roof. So I know the rain hitting the roof is going to be an orchestra all of its own. There's staircases that are wood all throughout. 
out, which gives you that really nice cabin feeling. You know, you've got windows on either side where you've got the trees and the sunlight can come through. And even the stairs are open, so everything's sort of got this airy feeling, even though it's very compact and, and smaller for all intensive reasonings. It's really awesome that you've got two double doors that just open up to these magnificent trees and open porch. And for me personally, I feel like that's like the highlight of this barrel cabin. Both living situations, bedrooms are upstairs, so in the middle of the night, if somebody has to use the bathroom, they're gonna have to walk down the stairs. Could be a little dangerous for littles walking down the stairs in the middle of the night. Keep that in mind if you also have kids or like maybe, you know, you don't walk so well in the dark, maybe keep a light on or something like that. Then the other aspect about this bathroom, I honestly felt like they could have cleaned it a little bit better. Um, they really actually need to be taking bleach through it each time. I mean, it's clean. The entire place has been cleaned. Um, for the amount of money that you spend to come to these barrel cabins, they should really be on top of that. And it's something that they need to take care of, in my personal opinion. This place is pretty cool though. All the barrel cabins kind of like face the lake in some capacity. So even though you're surrounded by the trees, you also have that like glimmer of the lake in the very distance. And you can walk right down to it also. There's trails all throughout that lead you down to the lake. And it's just very special. It's a very intimate setting. It's a very beautiful setting. And if you're looking to get away, but still feel like you've got your bed upstairs, <laughs> or even a TV or a fireplace or whatnot, or for all our purposes, a working kitchen. <laughs> you know, this is an awesome choice. The state park has a couple of parks that you can go to play to, as well as places where you can eat and have snacks. And they also have a lake where you can go enjoy the day, enjoying the water and the beach sands, either building sand castles or making silly faces. They also have a lake with a dock nearby, and there are rentals so that you can rent boats inside the visitor center. When you wake up, you can enjoy nature right outside your deck. That is beautiful in nature. <gasps> Mommy, I see a bird flying. I like it. It's no use working nine to five. If you want 